Hello everyone, I am Shampasari and welcome to Ace in Academy. So as you can see from the title of this video, this video is the third lecture in the lecture series of divisibility rules. Now in this video, we will discuss the divisibility rule of 2 raised to power n and 5 raised to power n. So without further ado, let's begin with our topic. So let us begin our topic with the number 2 raised to power n. So let's say the number provided to us is a. So we can say that a is divisible by 2 raised to power n if the last n digits of the number is divisible by 2 raised to power n. So if the number is 2 raised to power 1, then we have to check whether the last digit is divisible by 2 raised to power n. Or if the number is 2 raised to power 2, then we have to check the last two digits of the number. If the number is 2 raised to power n, then we have to check the last n digits of the number. Thus, any number can be said to be a multiple of 2 raised to power n or to be divisible by 2 raised to power n if and only if its last n digits is divisible by 2 raised to power n. Now, there is one important point to note over here that is, if the last n digits of the number are zeros, then also the number is divisible by 2 raised to power n. So let's say if the number is 1000, then I can say that the number is divisible by 2 raised to power 3 because the number ends in 3 zeros. So then with the query portion of 2 raised to power n, let us solve some few examples to build up our concept. So let's solve our first question. So according to our first question, we have to check whether the number 318-0096 is divisible by 16 or not. Now I can see that 16 is equal to 2 raised to the power 4, so we have to check the last 4 digits. Now according to our given question, the last 4 digits are 0, 0, 96 and I can write it as 96 only. Now I have to check whether 96 is divisible by 16 or not. Now I can clearly see that 96 is divisible by 16 because 96 is simply equal to 16 into 6. So I can say that 96 is divisible by 16. So the complete number is divisible by 16 because its last four digits is divisible by 16. Now moving on to our second question. So according to our second question, we have to check whether the number 7638 is divisible by 8 or not. Now we can see that 8 is equal to 2 raised to the power 3. So we have to just check the last two digits of the number. So the last two digits of the number is 538. So we have to check whether 538 is a multiple of 8 or not. Now we know that 536 is divisible by 8. So we can clearly say that 538 is not a multiple of 8. So the complete number 76538 is not divisible by 8. Now moving on to the rule of 5 raised to power n. For 5 raised to power n as well, if the last n digits of the number is multiple of 5 raised to power n, then we can say that the complete number is divisible by 5 raised to power n. So if the number is given to us is a, then we can say that a is divisible by 5 raised to power n if the last n digits of the number is divisible by 5 raised to power n. So if we have to check the number is divisible by 5 raised to power n, in this case as well, we have to check only the last n digits. So let's solve some few examples for this case as well to build up a concept for 5 raised to power n. So according to our first example, we have to check whether the number 87375 is divisible by 125 or not. Now according to this, we know that 125 is equal to 5 raised to power 3. So we have to check the last two digits of the number. So we have to check whether 375 is divisible by 125 or not. Now I can clearly see that 375 is equal to 125 into 3. So I can say that the number 87375 is divisible by 125. Now moving on to our second example, we have to check whether the number 3128125 is divisible by 3125 or not. Now 3125 is the fifth power of 5, so according to our rule, we have to check the last 5 digits of the number. Now the last 5 digits of the number are 28125, so we have to check whether 28125 is divisible by 3125 or not. Now 28125 is simply equal to 3125 into 9 because 3125 into 9 is equal to 28125. So I can say that 3125 is multiple of 2825 and that implies that the given number 3128125 is divisible by 3125. So let's do a quick summary on the topics discussed in this video. So if the number is divisible by 2 raised to the power n and 5 raised to the power n respectively, 
then the last n digits of the number must be a multiple of 2 raised to power n and 5 raised to power n respectively. So we have to only check the last n digits of the number to verify whether the given number is a multiple of 2 raised to power n and 5 raised to power n. That was all for this video and I hope that you understood all the topics covered in this video and if you have any doubt then you can post your doubts down in the comment section or you can send your doubts to us to our channel's official Instagram or Facebook page and we will surely solve your doubt as soon as possible. Or you can go to the official website of ASN Academy and you can send your doubts to us from there and all the links are provided down in the description. And if you did like the video then please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel ASN Academy.